Hello everyone and welcome to BIW channel. If you find us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from BIW. In this new video, we'll see the pipeline parameters and variables in Azure Data Factory, the difference between them and how to use them to control your pipeline behavior. So let's get started. For the parameters, what you should know is that parameters are defined at the pipeline level and cannot be modified during a pipeline run. And it can be used to control the behavior of a pipeline and its activities. The creation of the parameter is simple. Once we're in a pipeline, we give it a name, type, and optionally a default value. To access its value during a pipeline run, we use the following expression, at pipeline.parameters.parameter name. Unlike pipeline parameters, pipeline variables are values that can be set and modified during a pipeline run. They can be used to store and manipulate data. The creation of variables is the same as the parameters and we access it using the expression at variables and the name of the variables between parentheses. Now let's open the data factory and see some examples. In the Azure data factory, we're going to create a pipeline and create one parameter in two variables. For the parameter, we will name it years parameter. For its data type, it can be string, integer, float, boolean, array, object, or secure string. For our example, we select array. And for the default value, we will put 2021, 2022, and 2023. For variables, both will be of a right type with no default value. The data types for variable can be string, boolean, or array. The idea of this first example is to loop over the values in the parameter and increment the year by one, then append the result to a variable, and finally assign the result of this variable to another second variable. So to do that, we will add a for each activity. In the settings, we select sequential and for the items, it will be the value of the parameter. We can type the expression of the parameter or just select the parameter name in the parameter tab to save time. We select OK. Now we will append variable activity inside the for each. In the settings, we select the first variable. For its value, we select add dynamic content. To access the current item of the for loop, we select for each current item at the bottom. We will modify the expression to increment by 1 using the add function. This is the final expression. We add 1 to the current item. We select OK. Now we will add set variable activity to change the value of our second variable. Let's select it in the settings, then add the value, which will be the value of the first variable. Now let's debug the pipeline to see the result. Before each pipeline run, we can assign a new value to the parameter in this right panel, but we will keep the default values previously defined. We can see the output of each activity in the output tab. As you can see for the first variable, it is incremented by one at each iteration.
and for the second variable we see all the values in array format so that was a simple example a real world example is that we can pass a parameter to the connection details for a data set or the path of a file to be processed in a blob storage we have a source container which contains a csv file and we want to move it to two different empty containers destination 1 and destination 2 I have already created this pipeline it contains a parameter which has the values of the destination containers we will loop through these values using the forage activity inside the forage we have a copy data activity so so instead of creating a data set for each source in sync we created one data set in the data set we created a parameter and added it to the file path to create parameter it's simple go to parameter tab and create one we have already one created and in the file path select your parameter we could use a parameter for file name but for this example the file name doesn't change if we go back to the pipeline if we select source of the copy data activity we will see the parameter in dataset properties and we shall give it a value for our example we have one source container named source For the sync, the container will change, so we'll assign it the value of the current item. Let's debug it and see the result. It succeeded. Let's verify the containers in the blob storage. As you can see, we have the file in both containers. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, post them in the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. See you in the next video.